Good morning. Hope everybody's great today. Love seeing you. So today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. And it's a big day because we're going to be reading our story and letter book, P. So our story starts on page 12 of your letter book, P. And the name of our story is Huff, sight word and, and Puff. Huff and Puff. Puff. So I want to talk a little bit about Huff and Puff before we get started. So first word is Huff. Let me tap Huff for you. Huff, uh, Huff, Huff, Huff. Sight word and. We know this from the beginning of the year. We've had and for quite a while. And our last word in the title of our story is Puff. Puff, 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 Puff. 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 So you'll notice that Huff ends in two Fs and Puff ends in two Fs. In fact, they end in the same ending sound. Uff, Uff. So why do we have two Fs at the end of Huff and two Fs at the end of Puff? You may remember this. We've talked about this rule before, but it follows the F, L, S, and Z rule. So the F, L, S, and Z rule is as follows. F, L, S, and Z, double, double, short value, C. So when we hear the uh in both huff and puff, we know if it ends in F, L, S, or Z, we need to double those letters. So we're doubling F. But you also need to remember that two letters only make one sound. So you'll notice that when I tap huff, huff, uh. Huff. The F only gets one tap. We don't say huff, uh, f, f, huff, huff, huff. We say huff. So two letters, one sound. F, L, S, and Z rule. So in our story today, our main characters will be Doll, Ted, Sneaky Tig, and Ed. We will see Flip for just a second. Uh, she makes what we call a cameo appearance, which means she makes a very quick appearance, but she doesn't pay, play a major role in our story today. So these are our main characters in our story, Huff and Puff. The other thing I want to talk to you a little bit about is the punctuation that you'll see in our story today. So we know that we need to end a sentence with a period to stop our sentence. So we've seen this punctuation quite frequently. We've also talked about the question mark. And today, we will be talking more about the exclamation point. I've introduced the exclamation point to you, but we've not used it a lot. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about all three types of punctuation. So remember, when we end a sentence with a period, here's our hand signal. And it means that we're just making a statement. When we end a sentence with a question, remember we hold our hands up, we hold them out flat, and we tip our head to either side, and it will force our, us to say a question. The exclamation point, we want to put our hand over here and almost do a cheer as we pop our exclamation point. Um, you'll remember that we only use the exclamation point when we want to emphasize something. And it's sort of like we're yelling, so we don't use it frequently because we don't want to yell all our sentences at someone. So I'm going to say the sentence, you're here. And I'm going to say it three different ways. First with a period, next with the question mark, and last with an exclamation point. <clears throat> you are here. You are here? You are here! So you can hear the difference. As I read our story today, I will use my hand signals to help remind me to use the correct punctuation and tone in my voice as I read. But before I start reading, I want to introduce you to a little bit of our vocabulary today. Our story is very special. It's a rhyming story. And you will remember that rhyming stories are stories that have words that rhyme. And rhyming words end in the same sound. So in letter book P, our ending sound is going to be O and P. So it's going to be up, up. We'll have sounds, different beginning sounds, but the ending sounds will all be up, up. This will be the up 
family. So these are some words that we might see in the op family. I'm going to tap them out as I go down the columns and you can tap and read with me. So the first one is the word stop. Stop, stop, stop. Second word is pop. Pop, 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 pop. Third word is hop. Hop, hop, hop. Our fourth word is plop. Plop, 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 plop. Our fifth word is top. Top, 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 top. Our sixth word has a blend in it. Ethel can say fl, fl, but we're going to tap them out individually. F, o, a, p, flop, flop, flop. So in our op family, we have stop, pop, hop, plop, top, flop. Remember that our vocabulary for our story helps inform what might happen in the story. We like to know what our vocabulary words are prior to reading because we can better, better read them with a little bit of fluency, but we can also get an idea of what might be happening in our story. Something needs to stop. Something might pop. Think of all the things that could pop. Someone's going to hop. I wonder how they're going to hop. Somebody's going to plop. Something might be on top and something is going to flop. So I'm going to read to you Huff and Puff. I'm going to give you a second to go retrieve your letter book. Can you go get your letter book? And I'm going to get you to follow along with me. Our letter book story goes from page 12 to page 13. But remember, we like to fold it back so that we're not looking at too much text. And we can look at the illustrations individually and follow along without being overwhelmed. So I'm going to give you just a second to go get your letter back. I'm going to sit right here for a minute, and then we will read along together. Huff and Puff. Okay, I'm going to assume you're back with me. Turn to page 12 and fold it back so you're only looking at page 12. The title of our story is Huff and Puff. This is our title page because it's at the top of our page. Um, our story starts with Ted. So we know that the sentence below is going to have reference what Ted is doing. So I'm going to read the story. Then we're going to go back and talk about some of our words and recall some of the things we've learned this week. Huff and puff. Puff, puff, puff. I must stop. Puff, puff, puff. It can pop. Huff, huff, huff. I can hop. Huff, huff, huff. Until I plop. Huff and Puff at the top. Puff and huff. Can I stop? Puff and huff. It cannot stop. Huff and puff until I flop. Okay, flip your page back over to our title page, Huff and Puff. So after puff, 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 our sentence starts, I, I must stop. Remember, we talked about how letter I is both a letter and a word. This is capital I, so it's a word and it's saying I. We know that I is referencing Ted. Ted is the only character in our illustration, so Ted is talking. He is the one that cannot stop. It says it can pop. It's bubblegum. It is bubblegum. Down here it says, I can hop. Again, I is referring to doll. Doll is the only character in the picture. So she is the one that is talking. She is in, I will point out right here, we have a two-syllable word, un 
until. Remember, we can break that word by putting our hand under our chin, until. We know it has two syllables, and we can read those syllables separately. Until, blend them together, until I plop. And the plop means just kind of fall down unexpectedly. Um, on this page, when we get to the bottom, we have this type of word. And you know that when we pound our hands together, we're talking about a compound word. We're compounding two words. And the compound word is cannot. Again, it is also a two-syllable word. Can not. My chin dropped two times. You can break it apart and read it as can not. Blend it back together. Cannot. Um, again, until, another two-syllable word. So read your story. This is your homework tonight. I want you to do your nightly reading and read Huff and Puff. I want you to tell your parents why there are two Fs at the end of Huff and Puff. Remember our F, L, S, and Z rule. And also tell them that two letters only make one sound. You can tell them who I refers to and that I is both a letter and a word. Um, remember to use your hand signals for your uh, punctuation and teach them to your parents so they will know how to use the hand signals when you're reading together. It will help you with your um, expression as you read. I want you to read this a couple times until you get really um, build up your fluency and speed and you can talk a little bit about comprehension uh, questions. You can also use this as a reference to write a sentence about the story Huff and Puff in your journal and illustrate a picture. You might show Ted, oh, you might say it can pop and draw a picture of Ted with bubble gum on him. You might show Doll hopping, Tig riding his bike up a hill, or Ed as he flops on the merry-go-round. Be creative with your journal writing. Um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the end of our week. Thanks for joining me and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you very soon.